Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. How are you all doing this fine Sunday morning? I hope you are doing well because I am doing well too. And I am so excited that you have decided to join us this morning. As always, we have lots of fun stuff planned for you. Draw with me's crafts and activities and a Bible story. And this is the first week in the month of October, which means we are talking about something new this month. For the month of October, we are going to be talking about promise. More specifically, God's promises to us. Does anybody know what a promise is? That's right. A promise is a special statement made by someone that they will say or do something for you. Now, I have a question to ask you. Is it easy to keep a promise or is it hard to keep a promise? What do you think? Yeah, that's right. I guess it depends on what kind of promise that is. Now, if I promise you I'm going to tell you the Bible story today, is that an easy promise for me to keep? Yeah, it is, because I tell you the Bible story every week. But if I promise I'm going to keep you safe forever, is that an easy promise to keep? No. It could even be a hard promise to keep that you're gonna share your toys with your siblings. It could be a hard promise to keep that you can be kind to everyone forever. These are really, really big promises. And today we are going to be talking about one of the promises that God made. And God made this promise to someone named Noah. And at the end of the story, you'll see a rainbow. Does anybody know what story we might be talking about? That's right, Noah's Ark. So. Why don't you join me as I share the Bible story with you today? All right, here we go. Let's get ready for our Bible story. Today, we are reading from the Tiny Truths Illustrated Bible. And our story is called Noah. Many years after Adam and Eve, there lived a man named Noah. Noah was God's friend. He remembered that he was one of God's children but lots of people had forgotten that they were God's children too, because they didn't remember what God made them for. And they were hurting each other, hurting themselves and hurting God. This wasn't God's plan for his children. God doesn't like sadness or hate or hurting. Something had to be done. And God wanted Noah to help him. Noah, I need you to build an ark, said God. An ark is an enormous boat. An ark? asked Noah. There's no water around here. There will be soon, said God. I'm going to send a flood to wash away everything that is bad in the world. So right there in the middle of a desert, far away from any water, Noah began to build a boat. It seemed wild, but Noah trusted God. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to fill it with animals, two of every kind he could find. When the animals in Noah's family had all squeezed inside, God closed the door. Everyone waited. And then it started to rain, and rain, and rain. Now, Noah was glad he had listened to God. It rained until the whole land was covered. As far as the eye could see, there was nothing but water. But Noah and everyone inside his boat was safe. 40 days and nights went by, and then one day the rain stopped. Little by little, the water went down. Slowly, dry land reappeared. And finally, Noah's ark came to rest on top of a mountain. The huge doors opened up, and Noah's family and all the animals stepped out into the fresh air. Up above them, a rainbow stretched across the sky, a sign of God's promise that God would never do this again. And when God makes a promise, God always keeps it. The end. 
Now that was kind of an interesting story, wasn't it? It's kind of confusing how God wanted to flood out all the bad things in the world, isn't it? Yeah. This is a story that has been shared for a really, really long time to remind people that no matter what, God will keep his promise to love you forever. And the rainbow at the end of our story reminds us that God will always love us and take care of us no matter what. And you know what? This reminds me of our Bible verse for this month. Repeat after me. God has made many great promises. They are all yes because of what Christ has done. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. That's a pretty cool Bible verse, isn't it? And even though it's pretty long, we'll be working on it all throughout the month of October. Well, that about wraps up our time for today. So let's take a moment to pray together and thank God for everything that God has done for us this week. Loving God, thank you for the promises that you make to us. Thank you for always keeping your promise to love us no matter what. I pray that we would all have a really fun and safe week. And we pray this in your son Jesus' name, amen. Well, as I said before, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so glad to see you here and I hope to see you here next week. Goodbye.